Yo, it's Ebro in the morning. We're taking your calls because apparently sitting on a man's lap is arguably the worst thing you could do in life. No, Ebro, it's I not the worst. Man, I'd like to argue, guys, it cannot be sexual because a few years ago, I was at a fight uh, at the Barclays Center with my friend Ballard, and Ballard got caught uh, in between rounds trying to get to a seat, and someone had taken his seat, and the round started, so everyone's like, get down. Ballard sat on my lap for an entire round. See? <laughs> Nothing see? sexual. You see? So we don't know. Well, we Russell know. Wilson had Sierra's best friend sit on his lap, and Scotty and Laura Mm-mm. Stouse. Oh, hell see? no. You see? Oh, hell no. You ain't no. sitting on my man's it's lap. Just, like, what for? It's like, just what for? Unnecessary. What for? Rosenberg tried to say, what if there's no seats? He was like, and your best friend has to sit on your boyfriend. So I was like, no. What if you're I in a car? Up, yeah. I will get up, and my best friend can take my seat, and I'll sit no, on my no, boyfriend's but, lap. What if she's that? not there? What if they were? What if, the, what if you're not there? Then she's going to have to stand up. All right, whatever. Let's take calls. Right, Let's yeah. go to Rob on line five, Laura Styles. Rob on line five. What's going you on? Agree with, Good morning, first you off. agree with Laura and Scotty that sitting on laps is just out of bounds. First off, good morning, guys. Um, good morning. Second, good morning. Rosenberg, who did you let sit on your lap for about three Don't minutes? <laughs> My friend Ballard. His boyfriend. I mean, his, <laughs> Yo, his you're, friend. You're bugging. You're bugging. For, uh, second, very embarrassing. Um, that's like, that's, that's, a, that's a, a no-no, automatic. I'm surprised that you guys actually didn't agree with them because, again, I mean that's that's a uh, complete no no. That's a that's I'm equivalent. A, to dance. It's, it's equivalent a to a lap dance. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for calling. Right, I don't know if I went that far. Um, I, I no. really thought it through, and I'm trying to think of a if if I thought that the person that my girl mm-hmm. was sitting on the lap wanted to have sex with my girl. Like, if I thought that was, like, a, a possibility for both of them, I would probably be jealous. But if I didn't think that, I wouldn't think anything of it. Well, and here's another question for you, Ebro, in that regard. if you, Don't we all agree, don't we all agree, though, that if you have the ultimate commitment in your relationship mm-hmm. and you absolutely know where you stand, I'm talking about you've been together, no offense, Lauren Scotty, not talking about the place you guys are in. I'm talking about you've been with someone years mm. and years and years and you know they're never straying from you and they're joking around. They could even be flirting with that person. And don't you, and don't you think it's ideal to be in a situation where you're like, I know, there's nothing to think about. It's one thing if the person's wasted and leaning into their neck and being all sexual, but or just someone they there? don't know at all. Right, someone right, they right. don't know at but all. It's your best friend and they've been close and for your years. Your husband? I'm just trying to figure out like, yes. but why why is it necessary though? Like it's, I just feel like you don't have to do it. Like why? <laughs> why is it necessary for you to come up and, and put your arm around your male friends? Yeah, but putting your arm around somebody is different. And rub than your st- boobs then, all on then, my arm. Then putting and have your my arm all crotch. in between your boobs. Well, all in between. Okay, between okay, the all all Yo, you're being extra. That doesn't you, happen. You always add to it. Yes. In between, <laughs> really. <laughs> what what is that? Jody, <laughs> Jody in Long Island. <laughs> Jody in Long Island. How do you feel yeah, about this morning. sitting on laps? Is this out of um, bounds? Yeah, it is. It's an absolute no-no. There should be boundaries, that's the thing. You're crossing a certain boundary when you go that far. I mean, it's great that your best friend and your husband have a great relationship, but there should be certain boundaries set in place. Point blank, period. Well, that well, should not see? be crossed. It. End the call. She said point blank, period. There's nothing that can be argued. <laughs> <laughs> not, I mean, the whole segment's <laughs> over now. No, <laughs> you know what? Cancel the radio <laughs> show. Turn off the transmitter. <laughs> there is nothing to be there said was no left. doing this. The women, married women, back in the days, there was none of this. You know, you wouldn't find... Back um, in the uh, day, women, women couldn't yes. wear pants. <laughs> back in the day, women couldn't wear pants. What are you talking about? <laughs> Exactly. They and weren't allowed. Your call. Yeah, thank you. Back <laughs> in the day, they weren't allowed to talk to me- other men. They weren't yeah. allowed to. Right. They couldn't go outside by themselves. No, what are you talking about? No eye contact, Doris. <laughs> Look at the floor. Oh my God. <sighs> you know the good old days, Ebro. Jeez. <laughs> Make, Make America, America great again. again. <laughs> wow. Yo, y'all are so archaic and simple. It is not a big deal. If you're so scared that your man is or your a girl is gonna have sex with a, your your woman, your wife, whatever the scenario is, it's sitting on laps. 
It's, it's not something you got to worry about. It's just inappropriate. What is it, Shani? It's, it's just inappropriate. inappropriate. If, you're, if, you, if your lady's friend always seemed to find her way to your lap, you would be like, what's up with your well, friend? now you're going somewhere See, you else. You changed always. No, this you is what changed it. This. It's the same thing. You changed always. it. No, it's not. You added the if word If somebody always. was always sitting on someone's lap, yes, that's a problem. Agreed. If it happened one time for a photo and people were it just goofing around. It was a photo. That's it what was I'm a Facebook saying. Live. It's not a photo. It was a Facebook Live. No, there's a difference. Is it at difference? an event, yes, but at Rosenberg, an event, Rosenberg, so you I'm would here. be okay with your wife sitting on your dude, your, your friend's lap. In, in he wouldn't co- be okay with her sitting on my lap because he knows I want to have sex with her. That's oh, it. Shani's lap would be a problem. Shani's lap. Shani doesn't want to oh, have sex with your wife. It depends on the context. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if I was, if we were in a setting where I was like already concerned because my wife was like wasted or something, then I might be like, hey, you're being a little inappropriate right now. But if it was in the middle of a day at a photo shoot and and yeah. she and she was on Facebook Live and she was sitting on Shawnee's lap and she's like, hey, and even if she was sending a message to me, right. I'd be like, oh. With his hand on her thigh. I'd, I might be oh. like, yo, yeah, Shawnee's oh, okay. 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 It's just okay. unnecessary. <laughs> All right. Fine. Well, and besides that, his wife at the wedding already said she was Miss- sad that she was getting married because she wanted to have sex with Shawnee Culture. So we'll she did not. Oh, yeah. Why do you always <laughs> change it? That is you not what she adds said. adds extra sauce. I know. Always. Especially, Queens. it's not enough. <laughs> 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 it's not enough that on the air my wife said she'd miss having sex with a black man again. He had to change it to Shawnee Culture. Yo, you're a terrible person, bro. Terrible. You're a terrible. Stop trying to divide us, man. 